Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. So last time we had a lot of trouble with game crashing, and it crashed right as we were ending. I think this autosave I loaded is right as we were entering Candlemere Tower. We had come back here after, um, kind of made it to the top, and then we we're in a pretty bad spot. It is headed not. back to Tuskdale to rest and recover. We had two people at death's door. So we're back to make our way up here again. Encountered a lot of angry wisps along the way. There is this there's a shortcut here that we took. Right here. I can't decide if I want to do that again or go ahead and check out the rest of this area. I think I want to go ahead and head up this way. I am going to first cast Protected from Electricity. Because those wisps come out of nowhere and start shooting lightning bolts at us Onwards. and it is not a happy situation okay yeah that would help having that on definitely Jaythel took some damage, otherwise everybody's okay. Uh, it help, helps to know those are coming, too. So we came up here once, and I think that was the first time the game crashed on me last time. So then I just went the other way. I think about the only thing... I think magic missiles work against these, otherwise his spells are pretty useless. Let's haste. If she doesn't have... Why didn't she get the protection from electricity? Or did that get, like, worn off somehow? Huh. Trying to see here in the log. So that one did surprise round. I don't know. At some point, she lost that protection. Let's have Lindsay get Blur put on her. I really hope we don't have troubles with the game crashing. I'm not sure what was going on. I don't know if something with my machine that day or what. It got pretty frustrating. That along with these things that made that uh, less enjoyable to say the least. Amiri does pretty well against these things. Decide if I want to spend her spells on healing. Arim's going to go. Let's have her put this on. I don't like this tree in front of us here. Wow, 
Why can't can you just not not read? Hmm. Seemed like you should have been able to able to reach for there, but. Uh, we could so enlarge Amiri. This body holds no more. I don't want her going down again. She, Lindsay could, but displacement on her on uh, Jethal we're gonna just inspire how long does that one round per level so not not super long let's go ahead and use it though since she's yeah. getting hit a lot Be nice if she could just take out another one. We better have her use something here. Stang tree. Back on. Let's see what your entrails look like. Nice. So I don't. I don't understand that. I mean, it looks like we. Oh, he still got. Okay, we didn't lose that spell. It's still being cast. End of this, Amiri. Good. Okay. State your design. Let's get her healed up. So we've got it. Probably looks like we need to come up around this way still. So. Could run into more of those things. Do we have any Ask. protection from electricity? Individual that she could use. Not sure why that wore off her. Maybe if you get, maybe she gets hit enough with it, it gets uh, taken off. Or maybe it, maybe it didn't ever get on her in the first place. Got a body laying here, and we're fighting. Okay, we got. Where are they? Oh, okay. Four of them. I may end up wishing we just took that shortcut again. Oh, 
I could use displacement again. Or something else like heroism. Let's. Oh, we can't reach anyway. Okay, just shoot at that you one. Deserved it. And he can haste. Whoops, that's wrong one. Don't need to enlarge Lindsay. So we do mirror. Could send a Mary out here or keep her in here close. Uh, let's send her out after this one. Oh, come on. She was, she's been automatic with those. Oh, our protection from electricity is worn off everybody except. Gongar. Must be... Okay, it absorbs 12 points of energy damage per caster level for a subject. So I guess once you've taken enough damage then it wears off. That's why he didn't get hit, looks like, on that last one. That makes sense. Maybe we'll have Deo cast that again when it comes around to his turn. Speaking of Deo, he could use a little healing. Do that. Yes, yes. Ooh, is that going to get everybody? Looks like it. I guess you can move up a little first. Now nobody's hitting. Let's see. Forgot he does. Harim has a cast of protection from energy as well. Uh, also got prayer. Maybe we should put that on. We need some prayers for this fight. Uh, Mary, let's go here. Tear them apart! She's fatigued. That's probably why she's having less success. Although that was that was good. Uh. 
unworthy. <laughs> Last wishes. Let's see now, he could probably finish off this one with magic missile. a spear in there. Okay, Amiri, get over here. They go down! Oh, she can reach him from there. Wretched things. <laughs> that protection spell really does make a pretty big difference. This is where I step in. I guess more magic missiles. Oh, he just about took that one out. Ragongar. Oops, let's just do this. Okay, yeah, I thought he'd get more. Your life ebbs low. Save our magic missiles. What a waste. All right, one left. Let's see if America can finish it off. Bring it. Nice, Lindsay. Oh. We won't falter. Sometime we probably need to go back. Oh, there was that that wisp that attacked us at. There was a campfire that we used. I think that was maybe back at Old Sycamore. Dust. There was a wisp that. Uh, like. Can't remember. We woke it up by. Tear them apart! We used the campfire, and somehow we ended up fighting a wisp that just killed us. But I think maybe now we'd be able to handle it. Dirty travel log. Only the last page is readable. Left me behind. I begged them to stay. Rizmel doesn't care. Nethus has turned the dark face to him, so the cleric is lost to us. Brit promised to come back, but it's been a long time since he left, and he hasn't showed up yet. I just hope the paladin sur survived and managed to save himself, at least. These are the last words of my log. The wound is festering. Some yellow stuff oozes from it. I couldn't climb the rock and reach the ruins. Guess now I won't be, 
be able to even stand. My skin burns and I barely can breathe. I'll die on this cursed island and no one will ever know where I've spent my last hours. Left alone, but I'm not alone. Damned lights in the underbrush, they are closer now. I'm not delirious, they came for my death. Lights, watch, want my pain, arrows still take my soul. So I wonder if uh, the lights that they're talking about are these wisps. What was that? Here we are before our eyes, Candlemere Island. Dark, terrifying, terrifying and mysterious. Actually, the shore doesn't seem terrifying at all. A ruined tower is the only thing spoiling the view. Time for a walk, it seems. We barely made it to the tower when we found an unlucky ranger. It looks like the poor fellow met a gruesome, agonizing death here. And some loathsome will-o'-wisps were swarming over his corpse like flies. The lights that everybody's been seeing. That just the... The lightning from the wisps, or is that something else that we've yet to find? wonder if this even really gets us in. Oh, we can climb that hill. Okay. You cannot stand against me. Got just the lone wisp here. Unworthy. me or lose me any last wishes Let's see if American take care of this one quickly. <laughs> Maybe worth a magic missile in there. Well, let's save him. Probably can't reach Jathel for a heal. Let's get up here. This body holds no more. Is she out of potions too. Still got a couple. I need to find. I don't know why I, <laughs> I couldn't find anybody selling those. Maybe they were just out of stock. Big hits on this one. Maybe it's worth a haste just to get get this going quicker. Everything feels really slow when we don't have haste on now. I think that's why sometimes I think people are walking slow. Just I get used to the speed with haste.
things. <laughs> Serves you right. Okay, Mary, let's get this going. Yes. Okay. Share your will. All right, so okay, we did. I guess we found. It's just not my lucky day. Oh, is that locked? Shoot. So now we have to go up that. We have to climb up this hill. It's just gonna take us up here. That's where we ran into, we came up from this side and got ambushed by some will-o'-wisps up there. Jethel's sitting down. Follow me. Can, looks like we can go around this. Ah, jeez, scared the crap out of me. Man. Um. Hmm. I think it's probably worth recasting this. Him use a potion. Okay. Let's get mirror image on since they're going after you. Both ancients, too. They've got more HP than the other ones. Level 16. Oh. Taste. And let's have you drink a potion. Bleed for me. Repent. We haven't done anything 
to these yet. Advance. <laughs> Last wishes. Tear them apart. So I maybe had her put raids on. tired of fighting these things that's for sure it's just <laughs> not very satisfying this is where I step in okay are you shooting serves you right okay. Come on, Mary. It just whiffs over and over and over. It gets really tedious. Strike with all your might. What a waste. Despicable. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, that one must have like one HP left. Any last wishes? one down <laughs> now we got 10 more minutes to fight this other one oh. we won't falter We need a blessing from her M. Need a morale bonus. She can put Bane on. This is where I step in. 
Let's see, the Mary Rage finished this guy off. Just about got this one. Sadly, oh, probably not the last will o wisp in this area. Unworthy. Okay. Anything else up around here? Do you have some? Treasure, sweet syrup. Okay, well, let's see what we've got in here. See, everybody but Ragongar still has some protection from electricity. March on. Oh, what do we got here? Some kind of energy. It is done. Knowledge Arcana check. Rizmel. No stopping now. What a bother. Strange ripple fills the air. A man stands in the center of the half ruined hall. He is motionless. His eyes are closed, head tilted as if he was listening to something inaudible. He's clad in tattered black and white robe, though mud and dust made his clothes look almost uniformly gray. Hearing your footsteps, the man shudders and turns abruptly. The left part of his face is covered in blood and dirt. Seeing you, he gives a low growl in his throat. Trespassers, he spits on the ground. Are you so eager to die? Who are you? The man stares at you for several moments, then he suddenly grins and raises his eyebrows. In mockery, who am I? Oh, soon the whole world will know my name. The man straightens and raises his hands to the sky. Two-faced Rizmel, keeper of the gates, harbinger of Nethus. I have many names, and you shall pay fealty to them all. I remember the name Rizmel, I think from those notes we read. The all-seeing eye has brought me here to this sanctuary of magic. Others came, but they did not survive the trials. I am the only one who hears the word of Nethus, and can open the gates for him. Then the all-seeing eye will reward his chosen. I will become a lord in his new era. Rizmel's eyes turn glassy and dull as he keeps talking, and his speech becomes a stream of barely understandable words. It's impossible to distinguish which part of his ramblings is true and which represents his delirious fantasies. Nonetheless, the madman seems to lose interest in attacking you right now. An enchanted sanctuary gates to other worlds. They are here in these ruins. Silence. You're too blind to see what surrounds you. Vibrant, bright, glorious to those who have embraced the arcane and mastered its power. Rizmo's voice drops and his eyes become unfocused. Nethus himself led me here. His voice rings in my head, calling from the portal. All these writings, all these wandering lights, only the blind cannot see the coming of the all-seeing eye. So watch your tongue. The moment nears where I open the portal and let Nethus into this world. Fear my lord's wrath, for there will be no escape for blasphemers. Irony. <clears throat> That's the first time I've seen anything like that. Will-o'-wisps roam the island. How did you get past them? Will-o'-wisps don't devour flesh. They feed on suffering and fear. 
The island is full of them, since the times when this temple was sanctified with human blood. Besides, there was no fear in my heart, only joy and awe, for I was to meet my God and Master. So the great Nethys is just beyond this portal, yet the god of magic can't cross over on his own. Ha. Huh. One more word, insect, and you'll witness it yourself. Let's assume Nethys waits beyond the portal, but what's beyond the portal exactly? Can you feel it? No, of course you can't. The whole tower bears marks of the arcane. Look around you. Can you see these writings? Since ancient times, believers knew a portal lay here, so they left signs heralding the arri arrival of Nethys. Some say this place is cursed. Cursed? Rismal burst into hysterical laughter. Only fools can claim this place is cursed. On the contrary, this tower, this portal, is a true blessing for those who can grasp its real greatness. What do the writings say? A shadow falls across Rismal's face. He stares at the writings at the walls that shimmer with, with ghostly light. I'll find out, he mutters but to himself. When he comes, when he shares his boundless wisdom with me, I'll find out everything I want. Enough about this place. Where are the others you came here with? Who? Ah, you're talking about those who came to the island with me. They are gone. One of them gave up halfway here. I know nothing of his fate. And the second, the miserable creature, he... Rizmo closed his eyes as if fighting to control his temple, temper. He kept talking, how knowledge must belong to everyone, wisdom should be shared, about telling others about this place. He kept talking and talking. So I silenced him. I've come for the temple's treasures. Does anything of value remain? Anything of value? Look before you. Beyond is the keeper of all knowledge, not this himself. The wisdom of all seeing eye. It's of more value than your paltry mind can dream of. But if you seek gold, gems, and other worthless things, then you've wasted your time. Rizmel, no matter if this island is cursed or not, you're not in your right mind. You don't know what you're doing. Rizmel shuts his eyes, then slowly opens them. How dare you? He hisses through clenched teeth. Nethys himself guides me. How dare you judge a chosen one of the all-seeing eye? Lore religion check. As you listen to Rizmel, you can't stop frowning. Something is clearly not right. Not just with the man, but his words. Nethys, the mad deity of magic and wizard wizardry, never speaks directly to his followers. His followers take pride in this, for their god is much too great to lower himself to such base forms of expression. Whoever or whatever Rizmel heard beyond the portal, it is not Nethys. Listen to yourself. Nethus speaks to me. Nethus has chosen me. You know your God does not waste his time with mortals. How long are you going to lie to yourself, claiming the voice in your head belongs to Nethus? I... Rizmo's voice trembles. I... But it's just... He averts his eyes and falls silent. I am the chosen one. I knew it always. The chosen one, different from the others. His voice falters. I found a corpse on the island. You know the one I speak of. He perished in suffering, terrified, cursing those who left him to die. What did he do to earn your cruelty? Rizmo meets your graze silently. After a moment, he frowns, then winces. Mari, we should have come back for you. As you look at him, Rizmo's face changes. The obsessive gleam in his eyes gives way to astonishment and terror. He throws a haunted look at his surroundings, then touches his face and stares dully at the blood on, and dirt on his fingers. What? What have I done? Great Nethys, what a nightmare is this? This can't be. I failed you. Misled by illusions, darkness took my mind, and I... Rizmel utters a heartbreaking cry and buried his face in his hands. When he finally lifts his head, his eyes are full of tears. How can I atone for this? All I've done. His voice is a choked whisper. It's not possible. Rizmel blinks his tears away and turns to the portal as if recalling it is still there. But the voice... The voice that urged me to open the gates... It still sounds inside my head, but it is not Nethys. No, no, it's not him. It's something else. Uh-oh. I would never be able to repay for your help, stranger, but I must ask you about one more thing. Will you help me to confront the creature that waits beyond the portal? I'll be able to open it and let this thing come to Galarian. We have to destroy it before it finds some new prey. When we're done with this, I'll stay here and make sure no living soul ever falls the victim of the, this island.
Okay, we know nothing about the creature who's waiting on the other side. Give me some time to get ready. And save my game. I'll wait for you. Don't waste your time. We do still have some protection. Let's follow me. Maybe get formed up here. And I yearn for entertainment. Do a little bit of healing. Okay. This is my I guess we have to send Deo up here probably to talk to him. I'm ready to face whatever lies beyond the portal. Rizmal takes a deep breath. Praise Nethus. He turns to the portal. It's time to end this. Not so sure about this. I don't like having Deo up front here either. Duke Dazzle Flare. <laughs> okay, so we just got a probably a beefed up Will O Wisp here. Duke Dazzle Flare. They go down. Haste. Nerf. Let's see. Yeah, Rizmal's gonna help. It looks like. Send a Raganga around this way. Let's see. Harim. Oh, we could use the destructive aura. Inspire. Serves you right. Summon monster. We've got quite a crowd here now. I guess she could put out some. Skeletons. I don't know if they're going to do much against this guy. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Put him back here behind. Duke Dazzle Flare doesn't appear to have any more HP than those other ancient Will-O-Wisps did. Maybe even less. He's not the only thing that's going to come out of this portal. So we'll see. Not sure we needed quite this 
much of an army for this one. Wisp. Repent. You deserved it. Why aren't they doing anything? Maybe they just can't reach it. Results of Expedition to Willis. Okay. Oh, I just saw this about Tristian. Um, oh yeah, and Lindsay took our money to buy a printing press we need to go look for. I knew it. Uh, so the Curse of Candlemere. I guess we're done with that. We need to report back to Willis. We didn't find the lost child yet, though. Pretty sure Candlemere Lake. So maybe that's a different location than we're at Candlemere Tower. Okay. Does this guy have anything else to say? I was waiting for you. Are you sure you want to stay here on this island? This is my penance. Someone must keep watch over the portal. I won't let anyone else die here or become enslaved by temptation. You're a threat to yourself and others. I'd best kill you. Uh, now if your mind's clear, tell me about this place. This is the place where two worlds connect. The border is razor thin, so it gave birth to a portal. Now it's sealed, but when I was performing a ritual here, I noticed it's easy to open it. Someone must have used this portal before, not too long ago. Can you seal it up permanently? Alas, I am not able to do it. The only thing I can do is become a guardian of this portal till the end of my days. Okay. The man who sent me to this island claimed there were treasures here. I guess this man was wrong. Locals claim the island is cursed. Cursed? Definitely not. The tower is full of magic, but cursed? Unless you call a clouded mind a curse of sorts. Okay. Alright. Well, let's... Maybe, I don't know if we have anything else here. Um, I think we'll, we'll call it here. I don't want to get involved in anything else big here. I doubt there is, but never know. So we'll, we'll save it here and come back next time, finish checking out this area. And then still, <laughs> Still want to find this lost boy. It's Candlemere Lake. We'll have to look at the map. Maybe there's another location. We're at the tower in the middle of the lake. To see. Maybe we'll find something when we look over here. Anyway, I appreciate you being here and watching. And I really hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.